Ashish, let's begin uh, with unveiling your book. We're going to just get that up in just about a minute. Uh, if you can get the easel up. And uh, before we do that, Ashish, you want to talk a bit about your book? And then, of sure. course, we'll talk about your relationship, about Sa Savi's role, your role uh, in Savi's publishing. But let's sure. talk a bit about your book. I believe there are letters that right. you're writing. Right. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, I mean, I started writing many years ago. And I was writing like short stories, poetry. And uh, there was a time in my life where I was very low. I was fighting through depression, anxiety. And that was the time when I started writing some letters uh, for myself, for no one else. You know, I thought I would write them down. And you know, whenever I feel low, whenever I'm lost, I would pick them up and I would read them again. And maybe I'll feel better. And that's what happened. You know, I was, I was writing these letters and I started posting them on Instagram. And people loved it. You know, everyone who read the book or read these letters, they started writing back to me that, hey, stranger, we, we really loved these so letters. Let's talk a bit more about it. So what Ashish uh, does on Instagram, Ashish, how many followers do you have? Uh, 160,000. So 160,000 followers. Yeah. And so what Ashish does is, and I've read some of his uh, work, so um, he you address, your, you could call it prose, poetry, or your messaging, yeah. and it's to a stranger. So they yeah. all begin with, dear stranger, and there's a message attached to right. it. Right. And uh, you just throw it out in open space for consumption and people write back to you. Exactly. So you're also helping yourself and you're trying to help people out there. Totally. That's, is that I mean, that's, that's the whole concept, of course. That's the whole concept. Yeah. So what you've done now is put together all these letters? Uh, or have this, you book, already, yeah. this book specifically has a very detailed uh, you know, uh, perspective about hope and healing. And these letters have never been put up anywhere, on Instagram, anywhere. online, okay. anywhere. And on Instagram, there are very short notes. Uh, this book is all about detailed letters. Uh, there are 30 letters for 30 days. So every day you pick up one letter and it talks about a different topic. It can talk about anxiety, emptiness, love, health, happiness, universe, chaos, uh, patience. So a lot of different topics covered, uh, which would help anyone who's reading it through Know, through the journey of hope and healing and recovery, especially. All right. So, are these also addressed to a stranger out there? Yes. Uh, any person so it's who all reads of us this? out here and, and, and everybody. Right. Exactly. The, no. So, whatever I take out of it is my consumption. Whatever he takes out of it is his. Yeah, and and the book is written in that way, uh, in a very intimate way. You know, uh, I, I I I'm trying to talk to the stranger. You know. Hi, hope you're feeling good today. How's it going? What did you do? And you know, so it's a very intimate, personal way of narrating it. So anyone who reads it feels like it's written for me. Uh, and and you know, and he, the, the 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 writer is talking to me. So that's the whole you know beauty of it. So the germ was Instagram for you, of those small snippets and those right. small communiques that you had. Yeah, it started off from there. I can say that. Yeah. Okay. 100%. So we're going to talk a little more, but let's go for the big book reveal. Sure. Come. Thank right you. there. Let's, that's the book. And can we have a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? So, Ashish, uh, you know, you know I, I, can we have a copy of that and maybe you can take us, uh, you know, through some of the, maybe, you know, read out some uh, snippets from it? As you can read, you know, uh, the title is Dear Stranger, I Know How You Feel. Uh, I, would, I, would, I would probably just read the synopsis of the book, you know, just a, just a blurb. Dear Stranger, I don't know much about you, but I do know how you feel. You're feeling lost, lonely, and misunderstood. You're tired of pain and suffering. Depression, anxiety, and negativity chase you. You don't know where to find hope and how to heal yourself. Trust me, I've been there myself. I know it's not easy. So I'm writing these letters and poems to you to let you know that you are not alone and that you are understood, you are still cared for. I hope you will read one of these letters every day and I promise you, together we will get through this. Life is difficult, but not if we take it one day at a time. Trust the universe and never give up. Love and light, a stranger who feels you. All right, thank you. Um, 
Ashish, when you, you know, um, it was a big hit on Instagram. I can see the number of likes, the number of shares you've had. And of course, that was the beginning of what we have right now, uh, you know, this book. Um, but I want to know, and you know, we'll rewind right back to Savi, but I want you to talk a bit more about this book and uh, in the context of who are you writing to? Because it started off from Instagram, so clearly it's a much younger, conflicted, you're looking at a teenager. Who's your audience for this book? I think the audience is, is the youth of India, you know, this generation. Uh, I think all of us uh, who feel young at heart and, and you know, who's going through something or other in their life, you know, uh, in today's times, uh, we put pictures of us, good pictures of our Instagram, you know, we put good quotes, uh, we re read good things, but deep down in the heart, uh, we are all struggling with something or other, you know, either it can be uh, a self-doubt, it can be uh, a depression, it can be, uh, you know, you're struggling with mental health, or maybe it's just basic... Uh, human emotions like pain and heartbreak and you know you've just been through a, a terrible heartbreak or you've lost someone or you know you, you're afraid of uh, you know chasing your dreams uh, anyone who is struggling with failures accept the failures or who is worried about you know how how to chase success so you know, all of this all of these themes which uh, you know everyone goes through on a day-to-day -day basis but if you're unable to speak about that unable to express about it uh, and we just keep it within ourselves. And all that chaos over a period of time takes a toll on yourself and you deal with this very negative energy within yourself. So, you know, this book uh, hopefully would provide some positivity, uh, some light uh, to anyone who is sitting in the darkness and, and doubting himself or herself. Um, so because you say it's come from so much uh, from personal experience, so you're literally talking to a younger yourself. Is that it? Totally. I mean, uh, as I said before, you know, two years before, I, I personally was going through depression. And growing up, I, I've i always been an anxious person, you know, or, or struggling with anxiety in, in bits and pieces, uh, with a lot of negativity around me when we, people said that you cannot do this, you cannot do that, uh, you know. Uh, I haven't had many of friends to to say for, and I have been very introvert and shy person myself. So you know, uh, when I look back now, I realize that you know it was okay. It was okay to feel what I was feeling. Trying to handhold your younger self, right? Which you see in possibly right. the readers, right? There. And also, true? I think a, a part of my wiser self who feels, uh, you know, it's okay, and how you can overcome that, and, and a little responsible to maybe take somebody else who's going through that at that age out of it totally. through your work. Right, right. And uh, if and another thing what I would really want with this book is to people start expressing themselves, you know, how they are feeling. And it's, it's very amazing, you know. Uh, I've seen people writing Dear Stranger Letters to myself or posting on the Instagram account and tagging me. And they're saying that we are very inspired from you. And after we write this, we really feel so good. So probably, you know, if I can start a Dear Stranger movement, that would be awesome. Sure. Let's hope that happens right after this book. And you get various volumes of this book going. Um, so now let's rewind a bit uh, and talk about Savi. Um, Savi is the lovely wife of Ashish. And uh, Savi, um, you know, I want you to talk a bit about yourself in terms of you're the first self-published author that we have. Am I correct? Uh, there are, there have been many self-published authors, but uh, as the numbers suggest and as my publisher said that um, I'm the highest selling self-published author. The highest selling self-published yes, author. Yes, the debut okay. author who self-published. So um, uh, I, I had sold around 5,000 5, to 6,000 copies in one month's time on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Only. And then you were published. With wrestling. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then you were published because you'd already had that, uh, you know, the yes, important like my book was number numbers. one on Amazon mm -hmm. in Indian writing category and fiction category. For 25 weeks. Uh, on Amazon in one month. For one month, yeah. okay. The 25 weeks number is uh, the Nielsen bestselling list. Okay. Yeah. All right. So from there, uh, I published my book with Westland and we uh, sold around one lakh copies in 100 days. In 100 days, you sold yeah, one lakh so copies. it's like fastest-selling debut novel. Well, that's, that's a feat on its own. And um, Ashish, you were her editor at that time? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, when she said... You were not married then. <laughs> No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. We met six years ago uh, yeah. when she was writing a book, and uh, you know we we you know it, it's it's very beautiful that we met through our love for stories, and now we are storytellers. So it's uh, you know it's beautiful in that way. And she was writing a book, and you know, we met through a mutual friend. She knew that I was into kind of writing as well, and you know she asked for genuine feedback. That what do you feel about this book? And I said it, it's good. But I think you can make it a lot more better. So we discussed, uh, you know, we brainstormed, and you know, uh, but I think the core idea, the feel of it, it was entirely hers. The heart and soul of it was entirely hers, and I probably just had some retouching of it. And even if I hadn't done it, it would have been still amazing. So I can say that. Okay. Um, tell us a bit about your book. So you write about love, you write about hope, uh, you write about inspiration through mm -hmm. love, about friendship, dreams second chances in life, hope, and just going out there and achieving your dreams and being happy. Who are you talking to? Because we know who's he talking to. Who are you talking to? Who are you So uh, when I was searching for my story, I always felt when I started reading when I was in first year of my college. Before that, I used to read few books. But when I started reading, I felt that I want to write one book. I Who inspired you when you were reading that you, this is, this is, you know, this is, no, she's talking uh, or he's talking to me? No, no, no. Uh, so I loved writing. I started writing when I was in second grade. And since then, I was always writing uh, essays, poetries for my school competitions and such stuff. And even I used to write for my school and college magazines. But when I started reading books, I thought that I want to write a book. And when I decided that, I felt that I should write something which can inspire people. Because when people are giving three hours of their lives or three days of their lives to you, to your story, they should get something back in return. So I always knew that whatever I, I will write, there has to be something which stays with them after the book is over. So I was searching for the story which can inspire people. And from there, everyone has a story came. Because I felt that each one of us has stories in life, maybe about failure, about love, about failed love or about success, your success stories. But there were people always saying that we don't have a story. Because they never uh, see their life as stories. They never feel that whatever they are doing, it's their story. So how much of you is in your first book, of your story? Uh, more than 90%. More than like, uh, all my stories are inspired from real life experiences and real life people. but. Uh, it's not that I'll just pick one character, one friend from a life and just may turn him into a character. All the characters are inspired from different people. So all my characters in the first book, Meera, Vivan, Nisha and Kabir, they have shades of me. And shades of all the people I met in my life. So Meera, the protagonist, is a writer. She wants to write a book which can inspire millions of people. So that inspiration came from my journey of finding my first story. So all my characters, all my stories are very much real and very so much Does Ashish find a mention as a character in your book, in your first book? Uh, yes. Uh, some of Vivan is Ashish and most of Kabir is Ashish. Like, he's the kind of person who wants to spread love in everybody's life. And that's how the character of Kabir is. He is a cafe manager. Were you in love with him by then? Uh, no. We were best Not. friends. <laughs> we fell in love over the years. It was inception through the book. It wafted in. Probably a we, different kind of love. Yeah. You know, a love you have for a friend, <laughs> right. a best friend. We were best so, friends yeah. by then. Because of stories, because of love of words, we had a very strong connection from the first meeting. <laughs> stories brought us together. And when then it, we wrote stories. Yes. And our and own you have story. an entirely different story <laughs> now yes. with the both of you coming together. Um, different shade between both of your works. So uh, your writing seems to be a little more different. It's, uh, you know, what, uh, um, it's about love. It's about hope. Same, similarly, it is about love. It's about hope. But your languages are very different. Right. And I think uh, both our genres are different right mm -hmm. now. She writes more of fiction stories. And I'm into more of self-help, poetry. So that's my forte. Uh, so I think this is a very contrasting way. Of course, the messages we are trying to give uh, are somewhere, uh, you know, similar. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the style of writing and everything. And I, I, I personally write a lot more in the darker stuff. You yes. know, uh, uh, so, you know things that haunt people. And she, up until now, she has written, you know, all, all uh, the good and the bright side. 
I am not. Happy. Yeah, and her, her new book is coming, so she might have some surprises. Yeah, your new book is out by the end of uh, yes, end of the year. Yes. So, um, are you sticking to your theme of what he's talking about, or are you going to delve into something a little different? Um, it's a completely different story. Like my last book came in August, so it's been one and a half years. I took my time to write this story. It's about it talks about mental health about identity crisis, about healing, about recovery. So she is delving in a bit of your territory now. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, but it's a fiction story again, as he said. And uh, so I think he talks, as he said, in a very darker way, and he goes into that pain and he brings it out. And I try to just, you know, spread some light in that pain and sp sprinkle some positivity and Make it out. But I think one more commonality I would reckon between the both of you is that uh, your reader is probably the same age. Is that true? Yeah. You can say that. Yeah. I think so, uh, most of the readers are, are the same age. Uh, I think with nonfiction, uh, anyone you know who's just uh, going in a bookstore, I think even in the, in, in the older older you know age group, they might even tend to read nonfictions more than the fiction. I think uh, so. Mine is a bit more open, uh, but yeah, overall, I think it's the same. You're same talking genre. to the same audience, basically, exactly. right. in, in different ways, in different language, right. but your audience remains the same. So tell me one thing, if you're both talking to the same audience and you both have your separate craft, um, is there, because you've edited her book for, you know, as well, so is there ever a collaboration in the offing? Would you both ever want to come together for something? I bring both, you know, we have some plans, to be honest, you know, uh, we do have some plans. Uh, uh, hopefully in the coming years, you would see a lot of co-authored book by both of us. You're looking at that? Yeah, we are looking at it. And I think that would be very dynamic. Uh, you know, her style of writing and my style of writing, if, if it comes together, uh, it would appeal a lot more audience and much more dynamic and probably help a lot of more people. So when did that shift? So did it happen before or did it happen later? to be this whole big Instagram sensation. Because there's so much of both of you on the internet right now, you know, and it's, it talks about your relationships, it talks about, you know, um, you know some, uh, your personal moments, your lives. How did that shift happen? And how, do, you know, how does this writer and this whole Instagrammer come together? To be honest, it was never planned. Uh, I, I just posted, you know, poems and, and letters and, you know, for myself. She started sharing on her Instagram because she already had a uh, you know, huge amount of following till then and people started resonating with it. They started following me back and once you know, there was this base audience, you know, people kept on sharing and sharing. And sharing. It, it probably uh, it had, you know, it hit that virality thing and that was it and people started following me back. There's also a spotlight now on your personal lives on Instagram. See, that's what readers want. It's like, uh, as I said, that when I write book or when he writes something, we want to inspire people. And giving out a book or just sending a message is not enough. You have sent something, you have shared something, then you need to be there for them. And you have to guide them. When somebody reads your book, they have questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to answer them. And during that journey, they want to know how your life is going. Like how, what we are doing and if we have some problems in life, how we are dealing with it. Because when you share out your life, people feel that, oh, you are just like us. So it's a part of the larger consumption pattern where, you know, give it that, that one pretty picture of Savi sitting at lunch is giving out a little bit of more information to your reader. Um, not sitting at lunch, but yeah, we share different things. Even in my Instagram stories, we'll see if I see something, I'll write a caption about it and... That caption, you never know, I've, I've just written one line and that can inspire somebody in some way. A person, his I feeling. think the way people are consuming stories these days is, is completely has a new shift to it. There's uh, a completely different language, right. you're right. And, and the language is being rewritten as we speak. Right, and, and you know, that's why you know, on Instagram we call it stories. Mm -hmm. You put something, it's yes. called a story. And you know, it can be a pretty photo, it can be a pretty caption, it can be a long post format, format anything. And uh, you know, at the same time, you know, to be honest, we all know that book sales is declining. It's not as, as much as it's before because people have different uh, ways of consuming content on, on, on OTT platforms on, and where they don't have to put much efforts. You know, reading this takes efforts, you know, it takes time. And, and when I can consume it very easily on Netflix or a documentary, why would I, you know, and, and that's why, you know, uh, for, for any storyteller, for any writer, for that matter, they have to be very relevant to their audience. Write 
in the way they they want to be you know they want to read it so probably you put uh, short poems short stories short notes pictures and and then you divert them on reading long format books as well that if you like this content mm -hmm. please read this as well because this has much more value to offer you you know this would if you love this uh, please read this as well and that's why i think you funnel them through through the process of reading and, and you know uh, that's how you guide them i'll ask you you know one final question and then uh, you know actually two both of you come from surat so technically speaking it's a small town in gujarat and you know not the part of the big uh, Uh, you know, multi. Uh, you know, not not a, not a Delhi, Bombay, Gurgaon, or the big cities. And very often, the reader of small town gets ignored, and uh, and is very different from say a reader from a Delhi or a big city. Uh, is that also your audience? Because you wanted to identify with that audience. Totally, I think uh, you know, tier two, tier three readers, uh, they they still read a lot. Uh, and and then they consume a lot of content like this, where they feel that uh, they are understood, you know, and some they can connect with all the stories. And even if you see with Bollywood now, they're they're, they're making going back to the tier, yeah. Tier three cities, so that's the right? whole point, you know. I think um, this whole untapped territory over there of readers, and if you can relate with them, if they can like your stories, I think the numbers of the entire industry would would go uh, so well. What do you say? Is that what you also? Yeah, it's definitely true. because metros we always see that we know that this is the kind of life there is in metro but there is there life that much more exposure yes but there are life out there in small towns and there are lots of stories out there which are still hidden so when you bring them out in light and you're talking to that audience as well for you yes, yes. um all right so we're going to be closing the you know this conversation does anybody want a question in can we just get one quick question and then we'll close this people but don't you think that by having this kind of uh, line of thinking you'll be limiting choice for yourselves because you'll be continuously thinking oh if i write this story perhaps it will not be inspiring inspirational to the readers so you would be limiting your scope of subjects and the scope of your work so you should write if you feel strongly about characters your characterization should be convincing people should find that the story is interesting well written the language is good that alone uh, that's the only thing with the readers expect so if you put a you know a precondition that i want my stories to be inspirational you will be limiting the scope of your work um so when i say that the story should be inspirational what i mean is whatever i'm writing it should give something out there but when i write stories i don't think about what my reader wants i think about what's inside what what wants to come out and what is something i can write about because if only i believe in something i can ask people to believe in it and i can put that out so when i write a story i think about the message i want to give i think about the things which i love the characters which i resonate with and then i write it in a way which can connect with the readers and which they can get something from all right okay i'm going to uh, close this session because we need to hand it over to the next stage uh, thank you both of you we are very happy to have both of you here thank you and so let's just hope that uh, dear stranger i know how you feel has a second edition very soon you guys have been amazing thank you so much thank you thank appreciate you. it thank you so much.